We promised you a new way of getting items, remember? I'm Stan. And I am Topsla. We are introducing operations. operations. Yeah, operations. Yep. Woo! For every battle, you receive operation experience. With it, you unlock new operation levels and extra rewards. The first operation, called Gathering Storm, will last for about two months, and while it is on, you can get... First, new legendary pilots. Adam O'Leary, Pilot Griffin. He's an ex-professional soldier that wasn't a huge fan of following orders. So, he left Sigrun Valka, a tier pilot that swore to protect people in need and find those responsible for her sister's demise. And of course, the headliner. Yours truly, Tal Mokri. I'll make your specter perfect. Pardon for the interruption. Please continue, Stan. <coughs> Second, exclusive versions of Griffin and Aojun. Scavenger Griffin is a Griffin rebuilt by Adam O'Leary during his time surviving in the desert. Brrr. And Deathwing Aojun makes your favorite dragon robot even more dragon-like. Lastly, operations bring you tons of extra supplies, components, and also paint jobs for Aoguan and Blitz. By the way, all paint jobs can now be freely switched between robots. Woohoo! Finally! You get all rewards from the top operation track for free. To unlock the bottom track with extra trophies, you can get the operation pass. Do that anytime and you will receive all the loot for your operation level. Also, premium now increases the amount of operation experience you receive. So, this is the first operation. Let us know what you think. And to the next thing. And next thing is a summer balance update. Here we reapproach sustain and burst weapons to set them a bit further apart. Orkan is now more of a burst weapon. It should still allow you to kill enemies quickly, but will give them more opportunities to react and fight back. Taran and most auto cannons, on the other hand, should do more damage over time, but require you to keep the target inside. Next, Raven now deals increased damage after jumping to encourage a more aggressive playstyle. And there are also tweaks for Pantheon robots. They slow down when their ability is active, unlocking some new tactical possibilities when you fight against them. There are some changes to modules too. For example, you now see if the enemy has a last turn and when it will go active. This should allow you to play around it a little bit more safely. What else? Aha! New robots, Behemoth and Phantom enter the fight. The former is a bulky sniper with immense firepower coming with four heavy slots. That's a lot, believe me. And the latter is a brawl and trickster with an ability to teleport. Both are extremely fun, each in their own way. Watch this video to learn more. There are new models too. Passive Fortifier improves the durability and regeneration rate of your shields. And Active Phase Shift kicks your robot out of the material world. It cannot attack, but also doesn't take any damage. As always, for the full list of changes, check the patch notes on our website. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And as usual, first 10 commenters under each new official video receive 1000 gold. Yeah. Be sure to hit the bell button di -di 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 -din, to see them first. The authors of 7 randomly selected comments under this video will get Phantom or Behemoth in 7 days. You win only if your ring game ID is posted correctly and the platform is mentioned. Good hunting, commanders! We promised you a new way of getting items, remember? I'm Stan. And I'm Tosla. And we are introducing operations. Operations, yes. Operations. Yep. Yes. Operations! Woo! Yay! Woo -hoo -hoo. Operations! <laughs>